Customer Service Communication Skills, Sharing Knowledge. So 2016 was a good year for knowledge sharing in our teams, but there's still potential to improve. An article from last fall in the Harvard Business Review indicated Fortune 500 companies lose a combined $31.5 billion per year from employees failing to share knowledge effectively. And in the clever 2016 State of Knowledge Sharing report, over half the respondents thought they could be at least 30% more effective if they shared knowledge better. J.D. Dillon had an interesting perspective on this. People, people never want for information at home. When they have a problem, they search the Internet or post a question on social media. But when they go to work, everything changes. Vital knowledge remains hidden. Now, it isn't necessarily that people don't want to share the information. Sometimes it's just in an email or discussed openly in a call or assumed everyone knows the detail. But in other cases, it's the mindset of protecting secrets or maybe even hoarding information. General Stanley McChrystal describes the challenges the U.S. Army went through in the battle against Al-Qaeda. They had to change their mindset from who needs to know to the fact that who doesn't know, and we need to tell them as quickly as we can. What he found was that information was only of value if you give it to people who have the ability to do something with it. Think about that. Even the military and intelligence agencies realize the importance of sharing information in a declassified means. In a rapidly evolving climate, knowledge sharing is a vital part of leadership, whether you have the title of leadership or just the responsibility. As General McChrystal put it, ultimately, we'll be better off if we share. <laughs>